Elizabeth Warren made some news over the weekend because she said she's not running for president. So let's watch and then I'll break it down for you. If you uh, win re-election this year, are you going to pledge to serve a full six-year term? So look, I am not running for president of the United States. I am running for the United States Senate 2018, Massachusetts, woohoo. But let me actually make a underline a point on this one. And that is we can't just be a party that says, oh, we're paying attention about what happens every four years. And I know there's a lot of anxiety, particularly on the Democratic side, about how we are going to deal with Donald Trump in 2020. I take it as a well, no, you're not pledging to serve your full six-year term if you win re-election? I, I already told you, I have no intention of running for the United right, States. But you know, uh, I, I, I don't mean to pick on you about this, but you know how many yes, people have said that? You know how many people have said that over the years? Two years before, and then of course have run, ended up running for president. You see why a look, lot of people aren't going to believe that answer. Look, what I'm telling you is that I am in these fights every day for the people of Massachusetts and for the people across this country. Yeah. This government is working better and better and better for a thinner and thinner slice at the top. I am in these fights and I am in this fight to retain my Senate seat in 2018. That's where I'm focused. That's where I'm going to stay focused. I'm so, not running for president. So no pledge though on the six years. I am not running for president. So a bunch of people uh, tweeted me this as soon as the news broke. Um, you know, I read the headlines and thought the same thing that everybody else thought. I was like, oh, okay, well, that settles that. Maybe her and Bernie uh, got behind closed doors and spoke to each other and decided who's going to be the person that runs that uh, represents the progressive base, the, the, the left wing of the Democratic Party, because, of course, corporate Democrats are basically right wing. Um, but the devil's always in the details when it comes to politics. And you have to look at the phrasing there, the way she said it, and what the takeaway is based on that. And here's the thing, guys. She didn't, she didn't say anything there. Look at what Chuck Todd tries to get her to say, and look at what, her, what she actually says. She, uh, he says, are you going to pledge to serve your full term? She responds, quote, I am not running for president of the United States. That wasn't the question. The question was, are you pledging to serve your full term? And her response was, and she was very clear with her words, she reverted back to this answer every time. She said, I'm not running for president of the United States. Now, if slash when she decides she is going to run, what's she going to say when somebody brings this up to her? She's going to say, look at how I worded it. I said, I am not running for president of the United States. That was literally factually true at the time. Elizabeth Warren is not running for president of the United States right now. She's not. She could decide to run for president of the United States, but she's not running for president of the United States right then and there at that point in time. If she actually wasn't running for president, here's what would have happened. Chuck Todd asks, hey, um, are you going to pledge to serve your full term? She would have said, yes. Yes, I am. Because then, then that it's clear that she actually wouldn't run for president because she would have to serve her full term. She wouldn't be able to run in 2020. So, but she didn't answer like that, and she didn't answer like that for a reason. The reason is, she's up for re-election in 2018. She doesn't, you don't want to tell the people who are going to vote for you to be senator, by the way, I'm not going to be there in two years because I'm going to decide to run for president immediately after you re-elect me senator. So, she can't say, yes, I'm going to run for president, because then that maybe jeopardizes her chances for re-election in 2018. Because they go, why are we going to vote for a senator who's immediately going to go and abandon that seat and then go run for president? So she has to say, okay, I'm going to run for senator in 2018, and I am not running for president of the United States. That's right. She's literally not running for president of the United States right now. She could. She could decide to do that, and that's what I think she is going to decide to do. That, listen, this is what everybody needs to understand about politics. The devil is always in the details. Always. And right there, you know... Watch that video again. If you don't believe me, watch that video again. When Chuck Todd asks her, are you going to pledge to serve your full term? She doesn't say yes. And she doesn't say yes because she's not going to serve her full term. She is going to run for president. When she says, quote, I am not running for president of the United States. The way that she wiggles out of that is to say, that's right. I'm not, I'm not running for president of the United States. I wasn't at the time that I said that. Now I am. Later on, she's going to say, now I am. 
So she does want to run for president of the United States. Um, she's using weasel words there and being a typical politician to get out of it. If she wasn't going to run, she would have answered, when asked the question, are you going to serve your full term? She would have said, yes, I'm going to serve my full term. But she didn't say, yes, I'm going to serve my full term. She said, I'm not running for president. And she's saying that because she's not technically running right now, but she will decide in the future to do that. But having said all that, I really hope that if Bernie runs, that she doesn't run. I really hope that. I hope they get together, get behind closed doors, make some sort of a decision. Um, you know, I think Bernie has the best chance of winning. But if Bernie felt like for whatever reason, because things change and he doesn't want to do it anymore or whatever, if he decides I don't want to do it, well then okay, let her run and then, you know, pick him as VP. Or if he runs, he could pick her as VP or whatever the case is. And I think that will... I think that's a winning ticket either way. I think it's more certainly a winning ticket if Bernie's, uh, you know, the nominee and Elizabeth Warren's the VP. But even if it were Elizabeth Warren and then Bernie is the VP, that would be great. So uh, she didn't say what the headlines are implying she said here. Everybody needs to understand that. And it's still definitely on the table that she runs for president. But I hope that her and Bernie sit down and figure it out because... I don't want to, I mean, look, there is a possibility that you have, you know, a number of progressive candidates in the race, and then you have even more corporate candidates in the race. If that's the case, fine, whatever, we'll take it, because there are more corporate candidates, so you're going to split the vote more among the corporate candidates than you, gonna, than you are among the progressive candidates. But if you have, like, Cory Booker uh, or Kamala Harris running and then you have, like, three left-wing candidates running, that's a problem. Because you don't want to split the vote among the left-wing candidates and then have the corporate candidate waltz into the nomination just by virtue of the fact that there's, only, there's fewer corporate candidates. So I hope her and Bernie work something out and figure out exactly what's going to happen and who's going to run and how they're going to do this thing, but... What everybody needs to understand at this moment is Elizabeth Warren did not say what they're trying to say she said. If she wasn't going to run for sure, when she was asked, do you pledge to serve your full term as senator? She would have said, yes, I do. She didn't say that. She said, I'm not running for president of the United States. That's right. You're not running right now. That doesn't mean you're not going to. And that doesn't mean you're going to serve your full term. If you were going to serve your full term, you would have said, yes, you're going to serve, serve your full term. So the devil's in the details, and she didn't uh, say what many people think she said there.